this video, we're going to show you three great ways to improve your strength on the bike. We all want to be stronger, right? But what does that actually mean? Well, the technical definition of strength is your ability to carry out work against resistance. Strength is the maximal force we can apply against a load, which in our case is provided by the pedals. We can train to improve our strength by increasing the resistance against which we work. But how does that help us on the bike? Well, it's all about increasing your ability to cope with situations where you need extra strength, like, for example, short, sharp climbs, or sprints, or even, at its most basic, accelerating out of corners. With this in mind, we need to focus primarily on exerting force against the pedals. More force than would normally be required over the duration of a ride, but for shorter periods. So, intervals it is then. That's right, this is gonna hurt. But luckily for us, the terrain here in Amman is ideal for these intervals, boasting a combination of short, steep climbs and miles and miles of rolling roads. There are a few different types of strength that we can train on the bike, but for now, I think we should get going with my favorite, the short, sharp, agonizing, explosive efforts. That sounds horrible, Chris. Why don't you show us how it's done? These efforts will specifically help focus on the maximum force you can produce in small bursts. A good sprinter, for example, like Chris, can produce more force than your typical family car. Now, they're not necessarily about building more muscle tissue, but about optimizing the way you use what you already have. Neuromuscular training, basically. You'll need 10 to 15 minutes of warm up and some big gears, a flat road or an uphill drag, but definitely not a downhill. And you will need at least 30 seconds of clear road ahead of you. Then it's time to start your efforts. Seated or standing, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you start slow and give it absolutely everything. Aim to start just a little faster than walking pace and in a really big gear. Now this really is 10 out of 10 on the perceived exertion scale, so you're really gonna have to go for it. The sprint effort should never feel comfortable and after 20 to 30 seconds, you're gonna find the quality's dropping off. So at that point, you should stop. Yeah, and you'll need a really good recovery period, around 10 minutes for a close to full recovery. But if you are pushed for time, somewhere between four and six minutes could work well for you. Six of these efforts is really enough. After all, it is the quality and not the quantity that we're aiming for. Yep, now make sure you recover well and you'll really have a very beneficial session under your belt. Another advantage, of course, is that you can include this as part of a longer ride if you've got time and you can do these efforts seated or standing. The choice really is yours. Isn't that? That's 10 minutes, mate. Oh, no. You've got to go. Come on. Oh. Go, 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 go. So then, moving on to the slightly longer efforts, and I'm often torn between the durations to use for these, but today we're going to do two minutes. You could, of course, make them three if you like. Now, again, you want to go uphill if possible. Around a 10% gradient would be ideal, but you could do them on the flat into a headwind or even overgeared with the brakes on. And these efforts are ideal for replicating the short, sharp climbs you'll find in some races, like, for example, Fles Wallon, yep. Ronde van Flandre. Ouch. Yeah, they're brutal. <laughs> Start at a cadence of around 50 revs per minute, so you'll really need a big gear for that, one that you're not likely to accelerate too quickly from there. You'll really need to force the pedals around. The feeling you're looking for in your legs isn't dissimilar to if you were doing really quite heavy squats. Only that feeling is to be maintained for two minutes, or on a scale of perceived exertion, around nine and a half to 10, because after all, we now know that anything under a three minute effort is pretty much maximal anyway. By this point, you'll no doubt be feeling that deep muscle burn and looking forward to your recovery. Yeah, definitely. Now, six minutes is about the kind of recovery you want for this kind of effort. And once again, you can put them into a longer or shorter ride if you want. Yeah, and the golden number of efforts to do is six. Slightly lower intensity than the previous efforts we've discussed, but because of that, you can do them for longer. Then we move on to the longer efforts, and these are my least favorite, if I'm honest, but hey, they are beneficial too. These will be targeting your strength endurance, so think long climbs or long exposed crosswind sections. Yeah, I don't like these kinds of efforts either, but I do like them slightly more than the short efforts, which I really, really don't like. So the 10 minute efforts, ideally done on the climb, or if you're on the flat into a headwind, assume a good racing position, tighten your shoes, and away you go. Now, 10 minutes is an uncomfortably long time 
to spend in such a low gear, but do stick with it because it will really help with your pedaling efficiency and muscle recruitment, which in turn will help to build your muscular endurance. As with the other efforts, a recovery period afterwards is essential. And ideally, you would do this at around 100 to 110 RPM for a good one to three minutes, followed by a further few minutes at a cadence that is more natural to you. That way, you're straight back into using your muscles in the correct way to pedal quickly on the bike. If you are a beginner, you want to aim for two times 10 minutes of these efforts. If a more advanced rider was doing them, three times 15 or even four times 15. Four by 15. Four by 15 and you want to aim for around seven and a half to eight on the perceived exertion scale, or if you use a power meter, a good high end of zone three. After these sessions, I would almost always recommend an easy day, as that will enable your muscles to recover stronger, and it's when we're recovering that all the good work is done. Something like a light 30 to 60 minutes would be ideal. Yes, indeed. Now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends who need a little more strength, and if you'd like to see some more great training videos shot out in Amman, click down here. <laughs>